What's good with it? It's your Kenfo Dookie, and I want to welcome you to the first episode of Share Dope Setups. Now, I've been blessed to play with a lot of tech, but honestly, my setup isn't all that glamorous. I wanted to start this series because as I was looking for inspiration to take my setup to the next level, I figured you might enjoy it as well. Now, if you want to be down, there's two ways to get involved. I created the Share Dope Setups at gmail.com account where you can email me directly your high quality pictures and descriptions of your battle station or if you already have it up on imager you can send me the link secondly we're going to be using the hashtag share dope setups across all social media so if you snap a few dope pictures of your rig hit that hashtag and i might hit you up now to jump it off, I got three setups from the homies who were gracious enough to be a part of this inaugural episode. Let's start it off with Hoey and his dual monitor gaming rig. I was immediately pulled in by the unified color scheme, especially with the fans on his PC. What are the specs you may ask? Well, he's rocking a Ryzen 7 2700X 50th anniversary gold edition with 64 gigabytes of RAM from Oloy. Now I don't have much experience with this brand, but I do love the RGB aspect, especially with the color contrast from the fans. For the motherboard, he's rocking an ROG Strix B450 from ASUS with a 750 watt EVGA power supply in the DG76 case from EVGA as well. Powering these two monitors, we have a somewhat surprising 2070 Mini from Zotac, as this case has more than enough space for a larger GPU. This mini card does have the power though that he needs, while looking clean and minimalistic here. Keeping everything cool, we have seven iGo RGB fans to go with that Deep Cool Castle 360EX all-in-one liquid cooler. As we pull out, we can check out the dual monitors here. One being a 27 inch Samsung at 144Hz for that high refresh rate 1080p gaming and a secondary 23 inch Elements monitor right next to it. You can see the logo on his keyboard and mice as he went with Team Razer donning a Black Mamba Wireless and Black Widow Elite Tournament Edition. Now he could have ended the RGB there, but I like how he tied it all together with this budget extended mouse pad with the outside LED ring from Amazon. To help get his game on and maybe help with the streaming, he's got the RIG 800 wireless gaming set with the classic Blue Yeti Nano microphone and what looks to be two Xbox controllers on the side. Now honestly, I like the look of this setup and the fact that Hoey put it all together through the secondhand market and using deals applies to my big budget energy. But let's move on. Up next, we have the first of two dual system setups. This one by the homie JB of Iconic Mods. I saw this setup on display in one of his new tech reviews and had to have him be a part of this jump off edition. Starting with the gaming setup, this is about as OP as you can get. At the heart of his main editing and gaming rig is the 16 core, 32 thread Ryzen 3950X. Honestly, I'm jealous he was able to get his hands on one. And this got me looking at my 3900X with the side eye. Let's keep the specs going with the Gigabyte Aorus X570 Extreme motherboard, 64 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance with the RGB bling, the Power Color 5700 XT Liquid Devil, all beautiful setup in this Fantex Evolve X case with the custom loop. Now make sure you check the description for all included parts with links, but this thing is a total beast and looks so good in his setup. Speaking of that, I love how the color of the wall behind mixes so nicely with the lighting options on the desk. And I'm sure many of you recognize the nano leaf or lights in the background. As we take a closer look at the peripherals, we see he has gone Team Razor as well as he has the Huntsman Elite keyboard with red switches, the Basilisk Ultimate Wireless Mouse, the Goliathus Chroma Extended Mouse Pad, the Razor Chroma Base Station Headphones stand, Chroma laptop stand, and the Razer Phone 2 charging stand. For gaming, he's paired the Astro C40 controller with the A50 wireless headset and a Blue Yeti X microphone. I'm thinking this is an Ikea desk setup using the classic drawers as legs and all of this to hold the Samsung CJ8942 inch super ultra wide monitor. 
I love the little touches here like the Ikea globe lamps, custom Funko pop displays, and even the small bottles of liquor. Now JB, one thing that I will suggest here is that you gotta peel the plastic off those side panels, but hey, I can't be mad that you wanted to keep this system looking as pristine as you can for as long as possible. Moving on to his equally impressive workstation, we see that custom Transformers mod on the front of the smaller ITX version of the Fantex Evolve. Inside it's no slouch either, as we have a Ryzen 7 2700X, 16 gigs of Trident Z RAM, a slightly older yet still good enough for his workstation needs, MSI R9 380 GPU, all on a B350i motherboard from ASUS. He's mainly using this setup to crank out his own designs and mods using the Crycut Vinyl Cutter, yet still boasting a pretty solid lineup of peripherals. This time is Team Corsair as he went with the K95 Platinum Keyboard, Scimitar Pro Mouse, the ST100 RGB Headphone Stand with a pair of Audio-Technica M30Xs on deck. To top it off, he went with the Samsung 24-inch 144Hz monitor and JBL Pebble speakers to blast the tunes. Now since I'm currently in the process of setting up a dual setup, I love the attention, the detail, and aesthetics mixed with power and performance. Now if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Hit that and let's get to the next dual system setup. Now this multi-system battle room is from the good homie Johns Films, another up and coming YouTuber who is a DaVinci Resolve master and currently doing his best to make me do the switch. Now I had to show this one some love because not only does it look fire, it's a father and son build. Let's give it up to raising the next generation right. What's cool is that father and son have matching NZXT cases. Dad in the H700i and little man with the H400i. Let's take a look at the young homies mini ITX build powered by the very popular Ryzen 2700X. See a theme yet? On the graphics side, he's crushing through Roblox and Minecraft with the MSI Armor Radeon RX 580 attached to an ASUS ROG Strix X470i motherboard. 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RAM and a combination of Corsair RGB fans to light it up, round it out. On his desk, we have the LG 34UC88 1440p panel and another one for Team Corsair as he's hitting Wasp on his strafe with cherry reds and white PBT keycaps. He also is rocking the Corsair Harpoon RGB mouse with the MM800 RGB mouse pad and Void RGB Pro headset. Now I might need to try out some of these Corsair peripherals. This might be a sign. Also, if you look around, you can see a lot of nice touches to add to the overall aesthetics of this room. A Nintendo Switch here, or an Elgato Stream Deck Mini there, and even this Blue Pure 211 Plus air filter here. Now behind the air filter, we have a headless Plex server slash NAS with the Ryzen 1600 and NVIDIA 1030 GPU. Switching over to Dad's workstation, which he mainly uses for editing and some light gaming, we see the powerful ASUS Predator X34 1440p 100Hz ultra-wide monitor with a secondary 27-inch 4K screen from BenQ for color grading. Inside the larger H700i case, Pops is rocking our first thread ripper system of the series. We have the 16 core, 32 thread, 1950X on the MSI Carbon Pro Gaming motherboard with 64 gigs of G-Skill memory. He's using the beastly Gigabyte Aorus Extreme 2080 Ti to slice up those high quality video edits powered by a Thermaltake 1250 watt smart power supply. It's a family affair when it comes to the peripherals as dad is rocking the K95 Platinum with Cherry MX Browns and white PBT keycaps, the M65 RGB Pro mouse and the same RGB mouse pad as his son. Now honestly, I really want to thank Hoey, JB and John for being a part of this jump off episode of my new hashtag share dope setup series. But more importantly, I really want to thank you for watching and encourage you to get involved. I love the PC Master Race community and I want to do my part to show some love to the amazing setups that I've seen out here in the mix. Now down below in the comments, I would love to hear what you're currently rocking in your setup and anything you might be thinking about up 
upgrading. I'm gonna get up out of here so I can get back to working on upgrading mine. But y'all stay tuned for future episodes. It's your kid Folk Dookie. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and never forget to holler at your boy.